Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to save output to a file in R. So let's say uh, I want to do some simple calculations and uh, save the output into a file. So here on lines 5 and line 6 of my code, I've created two very, very simple vectors. Uh, a vector called data1 containing 12 numbers and another vector called data2 also containing 12 numbers. So let me create those uh, uh, vectors first. Run one, data1 one, and then data2. We can see in my global environment that the, each vector has uh, their numeric values uh, to a range of 1 to 12 and the values are displayed in the global environment. So let's say I wanted to do something very, very simple like add these two vectors together uh, into another vector. So let me create a third vector. I'm going to call this one sum data and assign it something very, very simple, the value of data 1 plus data 2. So combine the two vectors, so uh, run that piece of code. You can see in my global environment that sum data also is a numeric values with uh, 1 to 12, a range of 1 to 12. And you can see that the numbers have been added up together here. So 50 plus 54 gives us 104, 46 plus 51 gives us 97, and so on. So if I want to print that out in the console, print sum data, run line 9, you will see that the um, uh, sum of each of the values in the each of the vectors is displayed in the output. Now that's uh, stored in memory. If I close down R now or I switch my computer off, uh, those values will be lost and I would need to run my code again. So what I would like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to write that piece of output, the values beginning with 104, 97, 107 and so on, and I want to save that as a file. So let me start a new piece of code here. And to write the output to a file, I need to use a function called write.csv. So w-r-i-t-e dot c-s-v. Um, and I'm going to, what I'm going to write it to is the uh, name of the variable uh, that I want to save, which is some data, some data, comma. Uh, I want to give the file a name, so I'm going to call it file is equal to uh, an inverted commas. Um, I'm going to call mine deliberately uh, 000, 000, 000, so that it will appear at the top of the list on my bottom right hand screen here. Um, so this is called uh, 00 sum dot csv. I'm going to save it as a csv, a comma separated value file. And I also need to add in a, um, a parameter here called row names, row dot names equal to false. Now we'll see in a second what happens if we do this with row.names equal to true. True. So let me write.csv, so run the, check the code, run it to see that it's okay. All right, we don't see anything happening, but what happens is um, the file with that file name has been created and into my working directory. So, to, so I have my working directory loaded over here on the right-hand side. It hasn't appeared yet, uh, so I need to click on the refresh button, which is uh, to the right of the, of the screen here. So refresh the file listing. And you can see that the file 00sum.csv has just been created and added to my code. If I uh, move this over, yes, it's uh, 25 minutes past four on December the 17th right now, that that file has been created. So this allows me then, if I want to read this file, I can do read.csv read just to see if I'm able to read this file. And in inverted commas, put in 000sum.csv so I can read this file in into R and um, and you can see in the console the contents of the file are displayed and my 12 numbers are added together. So what happens if uh, you can see also in here that R has added in uh, row names 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 uh, down to 12 for each of my values. Uh, those are row names, they are not actual values in the data set. So I'm going to copy line 12 and line uh, line 11 and line 12, just choose to copy them and paste them down to line 14. And I'm going to change the, we'll make one change, the row names equal to true. So if I if I run rerun this piece of code, write this piece of CSV to create this uh, same file name again. So this time, run this, row names is set to true. And if I read it this time, you can see what happens is that it has um, added, add, actually added in the row names as values uh, because we've set it to be true. Uh, we more than likely will not need to want to do that, so be very, very careful here that when you're reading the, writing the file uh, to your working directory that you choose row.names equals false if that's what you need. So that's how you save your output to a file in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.